everyone, my name is Safa. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you are all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in the world of Oasis Springs and this time we're doing a kind of like a, I would say like mini mansion type of a thing. I'm not really sure what to call this yet, but I think I'm going to call this as a modern mansion, probably. I'm not really sure though, but um, that's because we have a kind of like sort of modern contemporary style build here and um, it's for me it's quite modern but maybe not so much for some of you and I just want to say that I'm so thankful for every single support and love that I received from my last build which was the eclectic maximalist I don't really think that I will get that much support and love because I wasn't really sure what I was doing when I was building that, but I'm so thankful for everything. Like, I have no idea how overwhelmed I am right now, but yeah, thank you so very much for all the support and love and the comments and everything. It means the whole world to me, but today we are building something a little bit bigger. I mean, um, it's not like super huge, like, I don't know, like a whole town or like castle or something like that, but um, it's quite big for my personal build style because I typically will do like a more medium sized one. It's like medium to big I would say over here but today we're building in the 40 by 30 I think in the world of Oasis Springs and um, the only reason why I was wanting to build something like this was to challenge myself because I know I'm not really good with uh, modern style builds. I mean there are a lot of builders out there that always kill their modern build game and here I am just I had no idea what I was doing on this I just tried to figure things out and um, I'm so happy with the end result so um, the other reason was to use this wallpaper this like wood plank brown color wallpaper from eco lifestyle it's actually one of my most favorite things from Eco Lifestyle, but I haven't used it for a while now because I know for sure that a lot of people are loving it as much as I do and I kind of like forgot about it for a while but um, when I was building this, my number one goal was to reuse that wallpaper that I will say that didn't get much love from me because I used to love it very very much but yeah, I decided just to use that and also with some other like neutral color wallpapers here so on this build um we have i would say three bedrooms and uh three bathrooms i think and it took me quite a while to build this because um we have this platform i mean this was originally built on platform but since i had this um issue with the whole like pond area which we have on the back um i decided just to like put this build on a slide um foundation just to make it like even and i didn't really realize that this whole lot has this weird um i would say like landscaping thing it's not like super strange or what but the ground seems like it's not flat so i don't understand why they did that i tried to like um like what do you call that like flatten the ground but it didn't work so yeah in order to make them look um like even I decided just to put a platform on it or foundation I'm sorry um but I was planning on posting this on Tuesday I think or Wednesday but um the main problem was um I think I got my files corrupted so the whole screenshot folder somehow it went missing on and off so um I always play on my PC with building and stuff, I mean a desktop PC, but when I have to edit them, I mostly do the editing on my laptop um, because it's more like travel friendly and it's more mobile, so I decided just to do that and I put a whole copy of the stuff like the footage, the screenshots and the basically everything that I need like the intro part and outro part and basically the whole thing into an external hard drive and somehow since monday or no actually since friday i found this issue on my maximalist or eclectic maximalist build that some of the progress that i had done were missing i don't understand why i thought it's just like 
like a glitch or something with my Premiere Pro, but no, it happened again on this folder. So I think it's just the screenshot folder that kind of messing around, I think, because on this video, I have to like redo a lot of things um, with the screenshots part and I basically like copy everything. So I have the whole like folder, like the original folder from the reshape folder safe, if that makes sense on my other drive and um, I basically like copy them because I know for sure I will need the backup like the original one when it's like acting crazy or something like that but I'm so glad that I kept the um, like the reshade folder one because I had a lot of trouble with this screenshot folder um, and I had to like put them on Lightroom back and forth multiple times because the whole like Lightroom folder one which um, I always have because normally I will put the reshade screenshots that has the reshade um, thingy on it into Lightroom to balance things out I mean the color and the tones and everything just to make them look like nice and uniform with my other screenshots for Insta of course um, it all went missing I don't understand why I don't know how it's just like that it happens like a lot of time just for this video and I thought um, the first place that it's just my hard drive doing its thing um, so I decided just to like back up everything and unfortunately I have like I don't know how many gigabytes of files I mean all of the videos footage and then um, the like uploads video one and all the tray files, I mean tray files isn't that big, but also with the, um, like, basically the whole thing. And it took me like a solid four hours to back up everything, but I didn't know that that wasn't the main reason why it's acting like this. It's just the screenshot folder for this build, but I, I don't want to take another screenshots because it takes a lot of patience and time to do the whole, um, like, screenshot every single part of the build especially when it's a kind of like a medium to large size belt. I don't want to do that for the second time. Uh, it's time consuming and I have a lot of screenshots already. It's like more than a hundred shots, which is insane. But yeah, that happens to me on this build. And it was very frustrating, but I'm so glad that it all fixed now. Hopefully it will be, it will be good forever. But um, okay, let's just talk about the build. So um, this is a kind of like a, I almost call it as a mini mansion, but it's not, it's not a mansion. It's just like a medium or nice size house. And uh, we have this kind of like a huge living room, huge kitchen and dining. I mean, the floor plan could be better, but this is what I've already done. And I hope you're okay with that. And also, um, this build was built on platform, as I mentioned earlier, and um, I had a lot of trouble with platforms. I mean, yes, they are so beautiful. I mean, they they make things easier sometimes, but another times they make you suffer like a lot. I mean, on my uh, colonial style family house, I think I was built up on platform too, and I had to delete the whole platform and just basically do the whole build on foundation because how glitchy it was. But on this build, I finally found a cure, I would say, how to prevent the like shadowy line on the upper floors when you build on platform. So just basically put a ton of lights, like a crazy amount of lights, and you're good to go. That's basically the simple fix. But um, it will make your bills like increase like very significantly which is not very pleasant but that's just it that's just how we fix it temporarily hopefully but um on this build we have three bedrooms three bathrooms one um i mean one of the bathrooms are like a half bathroom with laundry like this one over here and um i play test everything it works fine except for the laundry so i had to delete one of the laundry basket because unfortunately if you have two baskets they make you have to do the laundry more than just one um, basket. So I decided just to delete that. And also one of the laundry baskets didn't work because how I placed it. So yeah, just delete that. It's just a simple fix. It doesn't change that much. So yeah, and we have three, one, two, three or four balconies on this build, which is 
a lot and I actually have a build that has similar style with this and um, I think they they were called modern casa and modern Mediterranean I could be wrong but I will try to link it on the description box below in case you want to check them out and um, also um, I have a plan to release my first save file ever um, maybe on late spring or early summer hopefully it could be sooner but I'm working as fast as I could and I was planning on releasing the new crest part first before I release the whole like base game worlds um, but I think I will release them like all at once maybe because I realized when I was building this I have this save file where I could just build everything I'm not like dedicated for that lot for that world and I thought that I think my Aussie Springs is almost done um, I might have to like add some more like community lots but it's almost done so I think I could be releasing them all at once hopefully I could finish this whole save file soon because I, I am so excited to share my first ever save file and and I think my builds are all right but I'm not really good with um, like cast I I'm not very creative with cast thingy with the like creating the households and stuff and I might have to watch a lot of let's plays video because I need some inspiration on how to you know like create households and sims and stuff and how to make them very diverse because I want my um, seafall to be inclusive for every single one because I know how it feels when you have not enough representation in the game and you can't even make your own sim self so hopefully I could do that my seafall could be very diverse for everyone hopefully fingers crossed but yeah I think that's just a little update for the seafall I mean I am so thrilled for the save file it's just super exciting and I just I feel like I've never had a project this long and this I don't know like fun at the same time so yeah and basically on this build um, I tried to use some items from decor to the max kit which I think I think it's beautiful and you might not like it but there are some items from that kit that are very I would say neutral and versatile for any other styles so if you want to get another build kit I highly recommend you to see the decor to the max kit it's beautiful I love it and I think it's so fun to have both like colorful and bold patterns as well as the like more minimalistic one and um, on this build I think what makes this build different than any other my builds that has this type of style um, is the like tiling on the roof and on the exterior because I've never done that I mean most of the times I will do like a very basic plain tiles or just like wood planks something like that it's just not very you know not very fun but on this build it's just super fun and I love it so very much it's so exciting to see that and also this house is very expensive i would say i think it's about almost 200 simoleons not 200 but 200 thousand simoleons which is a lot of money i realized that it's a lot of money i think it's not that expensive but um let me just check my game i think it's around i don't know like 170 180 um it is wait a second yeah 171 wine 171 um thousand simoleons so it's super expensive i realize that but um you have one of the best views in oasis springs and also i use a lot of packs on this build so if you can't get it because i use a ton of packs i am truly sorry because on this build i just like go crazy i just want to have access to all the packs that I have so yeah maybe in the future I could be doing like a like a limited pack spell maybe like one expansion pack one game pack one stuff pack and one kit maybe or no kit at all it's totally fine I could be doing that but please let me know what type of packs combo you want me to do or should I go with the James Turner like randomizer thingy to 
you know, like randomize the packs that I have to use. I think that's a nice idea. I will try to list that on my um, book just so I don't forget everything because most of the times I will forget every single thing. So yeah, and um, this house has a pond, has a pool, which is I think there are some of the reasons why it's so expensive and I actually forgot to um, mention this but on my latest build which is the eclectic maximalist um, it was like 17,000 simoleons which is insane because I didn't expect that it will be that expensive normally my build that has the like similar size of that will cost you about 40 to 50,000 simoleons that's also really really expensive but the main reason why it was like extremely expensive i think was the kit the items from the kit are rather expensive i would say they're not very cheap so if you um want to build something that's very budget friendly i think that kits will not do much it's super expensive but yeah on um the backyard over here we have a lounge area we have the like sitting space we have the dining outdoor dining area and i tried to um kind of blend the landscaping with the world landscaping hopefully it looks nice and i i love the pond over here it's just like tiny pond but i think it looks really nice and i don't know it's just so cozy and so calming and relaxing um but i love this black and white tiling from the kit the decor to the max kit they're so fun not so much when you like place it on the very small room but on the like extra like this it looks really really good and i am digging it so so much oh and yes i have to mention this um that door from eco lifestyle that i put on the porch area is actually functional it won't cost a thing it's just yeah it's just there my students could walk past through that normally she doesn't have any issue with that so yeah i think that's it for the build so we just have to finishing up the um exterior part over here and doing some the landscaping and the roofing um i have talked for just exactly 23 minutes now even though it's not like 23 minutes on the video but i have talked a lot just for this video but um yeah we are basically just finishing up with the build and we're moving forward to the screenshots in just a second so um if you want to download this build this has been up on the scenes for gallery you could find it under my eid which is alfadera or under the hashtag plami sims you could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to my coffee website it'll have two different links so the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is the tray files link from simfa share so yeah and i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video so yeah i'm going to sign off right now thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting my channel i hope you enjoy the rest of the video and the screenshots and i'll see you in the next video bye